What's up, you guys? Sean Ross at Fightful.com here with a few names you know, and they've got a big project going on. We've got Gail Kim, Lita, and Christy Hemi, and we're talking about kayfabe. How are y'all doing today? Good. So good. good. <laughs> we're pretty hype. <laughs> so as as we film this, it's a few hours removed from you all announcing uh, this project, kayfabe. Uh, why don't you all individually uh, tell our viewers a little bit about it? Uh, Gail, we'll start with you. Okay, well, kayfabe was this little dream that became something two years later now, a women's wrestling show with real wrestling, real stories, and real wrestlers. Real wrestlers. So I'm forgetting our catch slogan here because it's been a long day. But, um, you know, we really wanted to do something that was through the lens of a woman's voice because, you know, women's wrestling has really taken a lot of steps forward, but never through the voice of a woman or through the lens of a woman. It's always been through a man. And so uh, we, we want to yeah. tell some of the stories that have never been told before. Yeah. We want to go racy. We we don't want this to be a PG show. It's going to be wrestling, lots of in-ring action, but then we're also going to be telling these juicy stories. Yeah. And, you know, we know from being in wrestling, you're, you're shooting a lot of these storyline pre-tapes that you've seen traditionally in wrestling in between entrances, like day of, you're shooting them like an hour before you're live and you get what you get, you know, and it, and it happens and you move it forward, but we want to take the time and we're going to have a set and we're going to take you into bars and their apartments mm -hmm. and you really feel that you're in these, uh, in the roster's life, but with a scripted story, with a scripted story, just like the other wrestling shows you see, but our content through our eyes, our vision, our lens, and we really want our roster to be involved in their characters and christy i know that you've been involved creatively in the past so you've been able to maybe construct and tell a few of your own stories but at, how much input did you have and are, are you looking to call upon that experience here as well input in this project or previous projects either either one at least maybe comparatively speaking one to the other so when I was at impact wrestling I was very involved with mm -hmm. the girls bottom line for the division and I did a lot um, there. Then when I left, I had moved to LA. Actually, I got recruited to do another wrestling show. They were, wanted to do this female wrestling show. It ended up falling apart. And then I moved to LA and I entered into a two year writing program. My heart, my passion has always been in wrestling. So I've created like probably like four different female wrestling writing scripts. <laughs> and then eventually this idea really came to fruition and that has been where we've put all of our time and direction into. As far as how much involvement I have in the creative, a lot. Um, we're very involved. Yeah. We're very involved in the creative. And we have some really talented uh, partners that are also in the creative team. I mean, you three in particular have been involved in like a variety of shows. Christy, you riding and wrestling. Lita, you were a trainer on Tough Enough and you've wrestled. Gail, you've been involved in Impact Wrestling for a long time too. Mm -hmm. Uh, are all of those roles necessarily going to be implemented? Are we going to see you all training people or is it going to be just a creative thing? Uh, how I, will that work? I feel like, well, we all want to kind of oversee everything. That's for sure. We're not, no, lead. we are overseeing. Yeah, we're, we're taking the lead. So basically. as far as everything. like what departments we're going to be yeah. in, we're looking at the whole thing. Yeah. We, we have our hands and a pulse on the entire thing. Yeah. Um, of course we have our, our, our departments that we're drawn mm -hmm. to. Like for me, I'm very drawn to the in-ring action and I want to have my hands all over that for sure, because that's what I love doing to this day is working with those women and creating the magic that I did in the ring myself. And I just want to make people better. And I want, I truly am always invested and I want to have the best women's matches and the best women's division going on in wrestling today. Have you gotten and any, go ahead. Sorry. I was just saying, you mentioned uh, Tough Enough, which um, kind of started my production journey. So I did just get up or just sign on to do the show to be a trainer, but we only shot a couple of days a week and it was shot in Florida. I was living in San Francisco. And so I had an apartment in Florida and didn't go back and forth every week. That led me to just hanging out in the editing bays, hanging out with the producers, hanging out in the production meetings and, and just really getting into the nuts and bolts of how you take put everything together and take it apart and finding a like a lot of stimulation in that and then i got in with the production meetings and and really got with um kevin dunn and he 
taught me so much, which then led me to producing Raw and SmackDown. Um, so I really was excited to join up with these women to, to be on the production end and the creating end because I found so much stimulation. I had so many opportunities in my career in front of the <laughs> camera. Um, when I got to help people to become their best self in front of the camera, it was really stimulating to me. And so that feels really good spot to be in here. And the whole time she was doing that, I her and I were close yeah. and I was doing it over at Impact with Gail. And so we would meet up for dinner and just talk and like, it just synergistically between the three of us, this is our passion. We want to create and we want to give to the women. We want to give to the industry. And this, you know, it's, it's been a really rewarding process doing it together and having the team that we do have um, surrounding us for this. You mentioned Gail doing a lot of that stuff at Impact. Will this affect any of your Impact work, Gail? And if, if... I mean, yeah, I'm there for the TVs and we take mm -hmm. like three days a month and we have other, you know, Jimmy Jacobs is part of our yeah. team as well and David Sahadi and um, <clears throat> they're well aware of that. So uh, we're going to make that work. So I did mean, you, yeah, had, did you get any good <laughs> feedback <laughs> from, like... sorry, sorry, go ahead. Well, her schedule is late enough that we yeah. can organize around mm -hmm. any okay. of that stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. this is a seasonal show. It's not going to be a weekly show. So we don't have to be there every week or even how Impact does it weeks at a time. Like, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to do the season. So it's going to be, it's so a yeah, we'll have them. Yeah, we'll have some pre production and everything. <clears throat> but once we'll just block out a time, make it work around everybody's schedule and um, shoot it self contained. Um, and we'll have that night where the fans can come and watch the matches and everything. And then we'll, we'll edit it all down and tell our story. Have you gotten any in, or feedback from Impact about this, or have you let them know? Has, how has that yeah. went? Yeah, and so it's gone very positively, and they're in the know. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, so really, we're yeah. looking to add to the industry. Yeah, so. we're not yeah. looking to compete. We're not – I mean, if you look at our product, it's not competition. It's something that stands it's on totally its own. totally different. Yeah. Uh, totally different. Hasn't been done before. And I feel like, I mean, the last time we – I guess WOW is the last – all women's thing mm -hmm. uh but i feel like this is completely is totally different, completely than, wow. different so yeah. I wanted to ask about that because that's that is a, it's a little bit different than everything that's on TV right now. Anyway, it does harken yeah. back to the Glow series. Yeah. How how do you all envision this one being based more reality or yes. more Definitely. Glow is, you know, a timepiece in the 80s and it's with actresses. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is current, modern and with wrestlers. It's completely different products. And you know, those, I mean, oh, actually, uh, well, Glow's a scripted show. Yes. Um, like but, their like, match parts are scripted too. Their match yeah. parts mm -hmm. are, are driving the, sh the, the show, but yeah. our, we'll have matches, like matches like you see on wrestling show. And it's based on that promotion that happened in the past. And WOW, for example, is uh, a revamp of the same. Yeah, the yeah. same thing, you know, and that is through a man's lens. And now this is truly, I mean, you've never really heard of woman's point of view sure. for women's wrestling. And, <laughs> and it's I mean, coming from a lot of inspired stories, real stories. Yeah. So we, we want to tackle some tough issues that have been since not brought up in our industry. We've been having these conversations in society as a whole for the past couple of years. And, um, you know, it, it's time to start bringing these stories into wrestling as well. The, the industry is not, not immune to these same things happening that, have, that we've been hearing out, outside in society as well. And so we want to just bring them to light, tackle them, and, and just uh, progress the conversation for real change. And because right now in every other wrestling show, it's very family friendly. Yeah. This is not, it's not family. This yeah. is not family friendly. This is like, this is meant to be a racy, you know, type of a show that yeah. I'm not going to have my children watch. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> As you all know, the, those stories that can sometimes carry over into the ring don't necessarily stop when you when you leave the arena. And you have a lot of shows that, that have sort of the invisible camera, so to speak, where yeah. it, you, you perform in front of that camera, but the camera, quote unquote, isn't there. Will there be elements of that or are you all sticking? Yep. Okay. Yes, yes. Absolutely. absolutely. That's the whole point. We want the cameras to go home with the talent. What's okay. happening at home? What got them to this place? Why are they so hungry to be in this business? Why are they willing to go on the roller coaster? And, the, and it's not easy to travel the world and put yourself time and time again in these shoes. So why do they want to do that? What's happening yeah. in their life? Yeah. And, you know, uh, for example, people love reading the dirt sheets and all the websites about, and they love the personal information, but they don't really know 
I mean, they might hear a gloss over of what's happening and they don't know if it's true or not, but now we can tell the actual stories, you know, we know uh, that are inspired from us, not just us, but from many, many people. Women. Yeah. Women. 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 So where did this idea originally formulate? Was it among one of you? Did somebody come to you all? And, and respectively, how did each one of you get involved? I think that this, the idea has evolved over many different ideas. Like it, for, for me at least, I had the vision of a women's wrestling show in like 2013. And then it kept evolving and kept changing. And then we all talk about various things, but our, our life and the way that we were looking at the show never lined up until two years ago. That's when we were like, we wanted to take it to a new level and show something different. And we just had the vision for it. And it really felt like something that we were peeling the onion back of. It was already something that we could see. It was already something that was created. We just had to put the piece, pieces together and it. Was make it was literally like Christy thinking of her own kind of thing, even though we're friends. Yeah. And me thinking of like a totally different wrestling project. And then it was just kind of like, it just all came together. It came like together. Amy was available as well. And she's got the same passion and alignment and thought process and, um, you know, the hunger for making this women's wrestling better, truly. Um, and then it just all kind of gelled together. We're like, why aren't we making our own women's Products, wrestling yeah. show? And we literally took the action to do it. You all have a lot of creative minds involved in this too, from Chavo Guerrero to Jimmy Jacobs to yeah. a guy that a lot of people might not know, but is very creative in Tom Cassiello. Like just yeah. Yeah. a very. lot of really creative minds to step out. Uh, again, not all female, some of them male. I know that you all are contributing heavily. How did you all go about maybe courting these people to, to join? We did want to say one thing. You know, we really did want a lot more women uh, on board as well. And there are other women on board that we've talked to as well. In the production In side. In the production side. Uh, but to be honest, a lot of women have not had opportunities to get that experience in our business. Like, we're the, we all, all have mm -hmm. been like the first of, I mean, I'm the first female producer in Impact. Um, she and was, was the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the first um, creative. female creative an impact or TNA back then. Mm -hmm. And you're the first female Raw and SmackDown producer. Yeah. So, I mean, there's not many women to choose from if you want to bring together the best project possible. And um, so that's what we just thought of the best. How do we make the best project possible? Who's in alignment? Who do we know? Um, I had worked with Tom. Um, he was writing for the females when I was producing. So we worked together and then he was no longer writing for them. I was like, we've got to get Tom, yeah. you know, he, he lines up with us. And then, mm -hmm. um, you know, Jimmy. Jimmy Jacobs, I worked with him as yeah. well, and then he yeah. works with you. Yeah. And so it's like people who we'd worked with firsthand. We just wanted the best people, but also people we knew we'd get along with because we've had these, not not many, just the one where we had everyone together and just like the good vibe overload of all these like creative people all together. We're like, cool, I want it to feel like this every time I go to work. I want to love that, seeing everyone. Everyone could see the vision of it and it was very clear and it was just a synergistic team. Everybody that we called said yes. Said on, hell yes. On the first yeah. time. We yeah. hand selected each of these. Yeah. So yeah. it's really the team that you see is the team that we called. Um, yeah, these aren't our backup people. Yeah, yeah. These are like all our first, first yeah. calls. It, so. is a, it is a star-studded lineup. Like as I'm looking at the, at the Kickstarter, which I encourage people to check out, like it's very familiar people and people with a really good track record like David Sahadi and people yeah. like yeah. that. Uh, conversely, now it's been just a few hours as we're filming this. Have you all had people within the industry hitting you all up like, hey, I'd like to get involved in this? Oh, my gosh. Well, right now we've yeah. been on with you through this through our lives. Like, yeah. since we've hit Not that, like, look, yeah. the, hitting the launch button was hilarious. I was sweating. <laughs> shaking. We were all, like, standing there like, push the button, push the button. Uh, like, so Woo! I don't even know if we know yet who all has reached out yeah. to us. But, I mean, we're so open. Like, we, we want to work with creative, passionate people people yeah mm -hmm. and anybody that's in alignment with just seeing a vision like this come yeah. to life that's a fit for us and as you know wrestling is so fast changing people are getting caught you know signing contracts no longer available so even to come available yeah too. sometimes if we have someone in mind then they get end up getting signed you, you just never know it's very unpredictable so right now we have such a great strong core team and we just want to build from there. Mm -hmm. Just make it better. I noticed that in the description it said a, a female-led wrestling program. How will the roster look? Will that be all women or will it be mixed mixed in? Like, like how, how does that work? 
We'll have male characters. Definitely. It's female centric. It's yeah. female led. It will yeah. be primarily female. However, we will definitely yeah. have men in there. Um, I always say that everything should be story driven and called for. So if there, if the story is calling for a man, which we need, yes, yeah, we, there will be men in men. there. Like we want, I mean, in real life, we all well, date like, men or marry men, yeah. men or and having men in the ring. Yeah, like yeah, I don't think. see that not being a part of yeah. the show. So yeah, yeah if, a, if a male like calls somebody out and it calls for an intergender match, then that's what will take place, you know? So mm -hmm. we'll see all different combinations in there. They will all be storyline driven. And I, I'm very curious, what was the tipping point about this? Because Christy, you said you've been thinking about this since 2013 or something, yeah. but it, it's finally come it, together. There was a tipping point. There was a very clear tipping point for me. So I got pregnant with quadruplets Oh man! and I was in the hot, <laughs> I was in the hospital uh, I was on bed rest <laughs> at seven weeks and I was in the hospital at 21 weeks until 32 weeks. I did not know if I was ever going to work again. <laughs> and so when I got home from being in the hospital and Gail came to visit me, she started talking about this other wrestling project that she was, you know, yeah. talking to other people about. Yeah. And, and we just started talking about our own vision, what we saw and we're like, yeah, yeah, we're project. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally by morning time, I had a pitch deck put together yeah. on what this project would look <laughs> yeah. like. And that was definitely the, the tipping point of like, okay, we're going in this yeah. direction. How about uh, you, Lita? So Amy and I have talked a lot over the years, like what we were saying earlier, just about product and about wrestling and our past nev never lined up. Once we had this vision, it felt very clear to both of us that she was very much in alignment with us. So yeah. she was, the next call as far yeah. as like pulling this team together. Yeah. And she very much saw it. And then it became a whole other thing, you know, just pushed the envelope even further on what it was going to be. So you all have the Kickstarter set up. I encourage people to check that out at Kayfabe. Maybe explain a little bit about that and what you're looking to do exactly. So how much, how, let's explain the length of time. And okay. okay. 36 days started today. Um, the end will be after WrestleMania. For the next 36 days, we have a lot of dates we're hitting. We're going to New York, LA, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, Atlanta back, to back to Tampa. Yeah. So we really plan this out, uh, you know, PR wise, appearance wise, to really spread the word. While trying to keep a secret. Yeah. Until oh, yeah. yeah. oh, 6:30 yeah. today. To so, keep a secret in wrestling, in the wrestling business for this long, I can't even tell you. I, we're so proud of Oh, I, I hadn't heard a peep Very about impressive. it. I hadn't heard a single peep about it. And I look up and down all the people that are involved and I'm like, how yeah. didn't anybody hear about I mean, this? That's a testament to the belief because yeah. if you have that many people that believe in something, they want to protect it, you know, yeah. and, yeah. and that's what ended up happening. I couldn't believe it. We couldn't either, tell so. our closest friends in the business. People were like sisters with and yeah we it didn't know hard. how they were going to feel but it was the type of project that we just had to keep a secret you know? so yeah we're we're so close to this project we like protect it with everything and it means so much to us which is why we thought it was really appropriate to do this whole tour where we are having autograph sessions and interacting directly like looking in the eyes the people that we want to make the show for mm -hmm. and just really grassroots style spread the word like that's everybody kind of retweeting us and letting it, this project be known is what's going to contribute. To, it's not going to contribute to the success. That's going to be the success of the show and us realizing our dream to do this. So that's what we thought was the best way to just to get and look in the eyes of the people that we want to make this for. Kickstarter is not an easy platform. It is not it's easy. It's a lot of work. Like putting it together has been a lot of work. And it's risky. It's risky. It's yeah. putting ourselves out there without knowing what the outcome is going to be. However, it instantly shows people what it is that we want to do it shows people our vision and it gives fans the opportunity to contribute and be a part of it and be yeah. partners with us on this mission so for us that feels like a professional wrestling yeah. thing yeah. for like you know she mm -hmm. talks about it she wasn't supposed to get over and fans really yeah the reason i ever got her. all jacked is because people chanted Lita, you know, like I, I wasn't supposed to be, um, who she who, who is. I, it became, you know? Um, so it just felt like the right thing. Also, um, we want to get out and, and there's transparency also within Kickstarter. We think that's really important because it's like, you know, the name is kayfabe, which is to keep something secret. Yeah. But our whole thing is we're not keeping things secret. Yeah. We want you to know how, what, how much our budget is, how much yeah. it takes. You can see this. Who's involved. Like, we want you to see all of that stuff. 
Um, and we know that, like our goal of 400,000 seems like so much money. I know it seems like a lot to us, yeah. but we just want to be transparent on how that's all spent and, and to make the, the quality of show that we want to make. Especially the authenticity of it, you know, especially yeah. since we're saying it's, it's coming from the female voice. I mean, it's truly, if someone else gave us the money, they'd have a say in how it was going to be made. And we, we just wanted to do it the right way. At least this way, no matter what, it'll be what it is that we want to create. And who yeah. knows where it's going to go from there. Yeah. And I think that we, we put in so much work. It was literally two years that I think we all feel confident. Of course, like, we want it to succeed with everything we have. But, like, I feel very honest with what's out there. If that doesn't align, then it wasn't meant to happen yeah. that way. Because, like, I, I, I'm happy to fall in my face with that representing. Our Kickstarter representing. Because yes. it's like that's accurate and that's what we want to do. And so it just means everything, the support we've been getting from the fans. Yeah. The, the irony of y'all being able to keep this a secret when every time, <laughs> a, every, every time a wrestler tells me something off the record, they don't say off the record. They say, yeah. Hey, kayfabe this <laughs> every yeah, single yeah. time. Uh, so as we wrap up, you all do have several Kickstarter goals. Uh, there's one for a pilot, two, four, six, eight episodes. Uh, I mean, there, there's a possibility as with any pilot that once you create the pilot, a production company comes along and picks that up is obviously I'm sure that's something you all have discussed. We are, we are not close to having someone get involved like yeah. that. We're so open to how this plays out. It's more just about us. We have a, a presentation now. You can now see what it is and you can see the road that we're going down. So for us, that felt important. So uh, let people know where they can find out about this, uh, where they can find anything on social media. Let, let them know how they can help. All of our social Socials. medias are at This Is Kayfabe, and that's for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Our YouTube is Kayfabe. 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 You just got to go to, yeah. No, This Is Kayfabe. Oh, okay. Sorry. This it's is all, Kayfabe. It's all, Everything's all, all the same. same. This Is Kayfabe. All, all the this same. Is this is Kayfabe. And then the Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Is you can go to Kickstarter and it's mm. Kayfabe. Kayfabe. You just put in the search term Kayfabe. Or you can go into any, any of, our of our socials. Bios. Or it's all you're going to see on there. Link in bio. <laughs> link on bio. And they all go to the Kickstarter. You guys can also check out the uh, links in the description on this video. Uh, there's over 100 backers already just in the last few hours that you all have announced this. I want to thank yeah. you all so much for taking the time. Thank, thank you. you.